Next, portion size. We want to investigate if things have changed over the years. So where better to start than a trip back in time? I've got a bit of a theory. Things are getting bigger. Portions seem to be getting bigger. I've been reading reports lately about portion size and the fact that with these ready meals, actually, they've been getting bigger. I mean, do you think portion size is getting bigger? Well... Or smaller, I don't know. Everyone's getting fatter, aren't they? Well, yeah. <laughs> you almost need to look at the trajectory of a lasagna over the last ten years. So, to hunt out the food packaging of yesteryear, I've come to one of Britain's most remarkable museums. Wow, look at this. Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> Are you Stella? Yes, I am. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is incredible. For the past 46 years, Stella Mitchell's been collecting 20th century memorabilia, celebrating British consumerism. Look at this. See, this is one of my childhood. Action man. I never had the tank. You got Matt Tevitt's pants up here as well. <laughs> Cigarettes, look, that brand will not affect your throat. It's like being around my nan's house. <laughs> so, Stella, can I have a look at some food packaging? Yeah, sure. Just come this way. The chicken vegetable pies, lasagnas. 1994. Mm. I mean, that is incredible. Mm. Look at these, then. Late 50s, early 60s. That's shepherd's pie. Mm -hmm. but it's quite small, isn't it? Bingo, my all-time favourite. For me, growing up, the Black Forest Gatto was something very it, exotic. It, it, oh, yes. Well, um, so you knew it was from the Black Forest, Yeah, it's straight it, out of yeah, the yeah, woods. Right, yeah. Exactly, yes. Isn't it? Yes. <laughs> to establish whether our portions have grown over time, my retro basket and I are meeting Professor Teresa Marto, an expert in eating behaviour from the University of Cambridge. I've got all these food packages here. OK, from the 90s and 80s and even earlier. And I want to know, have they changed in size? Good question. Shall we find out? Yeah, let's do it. Here we are. Hi there, guys. We've enlisted some shoppers to go on a reconnaissance mission. And what I'd love you all to do is choose something on that shopping list and buy some of those items for me. The brief is to buy modern-day supermarket equivalents to the ones I've got in my basket. OK, let's go. Get shopping. So, Teresa, hopefully they should come back with some interesting stuff. An hour later, they're back. Their bags bulging with ready meals for one. OK, shoppers, if I look at my packaging, that's for one person from 1999. Who's got cottage pies? Okay. Right, nice cottage pie there. I mean, straight away, they look bigger, don't they? So this is 230 grams. That's 400 grams. And that's 450 grams. That's a big increase. Yeah. So, Theresa, is that what's happening across the board? When we've looked at the portion size in cottage pies across four supermarkets, what we find is that 400 grams is about the average. That's an increase of a staggering 73% in just 17 years. It's incredible, 73% increase. And what about the nation's favourite, chicken curry? Whoa! <laughs> is that for one person? Yeah. That's for one person. Yeah. Wow. Do you know what? If I hadn't pulled this up beforehand, I'd have probably gone, oh, yeah, nice, one person. We compared products from four leading British supermarkets and found that, on average, Curry for One has gone from 300 grams to 400 grams, an increase of 33% in just over 15 years. And it was a similar story for single portions of lasagna, fish fingers and my favourite Black Forest Gatto, all of which have got bigger by around 20% over a decade or so. I mean, would you be happy if you got that now? Not really. No. <laughs> no? No. So it seems like portion size is growing, in line with our demands. 